get started, I have two rules. Number one is there is going to be no crying. Number two, let's not make this weird. I don't want it to be awkward. Well, Nick Jonas confronting grief when he returns home for a funeral. The movie is called The Good Half. It's showing tonight at the River Run International Film Festival in Winston-Salem. We have the director, Robert Schwartzman, with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. I looked at the at the cast here, and you really got some, some wonderful talent in there. Yeah. No, thank you. I, you know, it's so crazy. When you put a movie together, you, it's so, there's so many moving parts mm -hmm. to get it going. It's really about timing. Because it's like if you push a month, you lose a certain actor. But we had those moments of putting it together and having certain cast involved and then not involved. But I really do believe, having made different movies, that the cast you end up with is, is, is what it was always meant to be. Yeah. And um, Nick Jonas is, we, all, we know that he's a great, like a big musician and mm -hmm. everything. But, and he's at, you know, he's been on, he was on Kingdom and he's like had a, he's had his act, his Broadway career. Right. But he's never like led, a, he's been the lead of a movie and carried a movie. And he's in literally every like scene in this movie. He is lights out so great in this movie. Wow. And I think it's gonna be a whole new world for him as an actor. But yeah, I mean, Elizabeth Shue, you know, like obviously like an icon. Uh, I've always loved Elizabeth, uh, Leaving Las Vegas, mm -hmm. Cocktail, uh, David Arquette, Matt Walsh, Brittany Snow, Alexandra Shipp. Like, yeah, we were very fortunate to have uh, people say yes, because that really, to make a movie independently, you really have to have people who are uh, dedicated and Very committed to what in, you want to do. Believe in what you're doing, yeah, yeah, because it's not, yeah, you're not showing up to work uh, for, you know, doing it for a paycheck as somebody would do like a big series or something. You, you find material that you feel really represents something you want to be doing as an actor, but yeah, if everybody believed in what we were doing, and I feel very grateful. This is about going home for a funeral, but you've got to manage emotions in it. Yeah, where yeah. It, it can be incredibly heavy, but you, there's always a moment of levity, comedy in it, you know? Yeah, yeah, you have, I mean, for me, that heart and comedy balance is what I, walking that tightrope is something I find interesting. Um, movies, it happens yeah. in life, it's hard to it present is. it. No, it's it hard to present it it's in, honest. in a story like that. Yeah, yeah I mean, everything's a bit, strange in when you're dealing with loss grief mm -hmm. and it's every it's everyone has their own experience with grief and loss and I, I I've had my loss in a family that has sort of shaped me to be the person I am today mm -hmm. but uh, it's a mysterious thing emotionally and I think when you create a movie or a song that can be somewhat like comforting and shine a light on these experiences, it can be really important for people. It's, it's an incredible project to create something like this. Do you like coming to festivals where people have a chance to talk to you and kind of yeah. make you go back and pick apart the process a little bit? Yeah. I'm, it's a great I'm, education, I know, yeah, for people yeah. to come and hear this. No, it's great. And I would love to sit and talk. I would yeah. talk to you all day about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, working on a movie, we shot this movie about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And then you're in the edit for a long time, right? And you're playing around with, this, with just picking the right shots and trying to help shape the story emotionally. But um, I've been, so I, my relationship with this movie is just an ongoing relationship. And then you come and we get to talk about it now. And so the movie's coming out in July, July mm -hmm. 23rd. It's gonna be in theaters. Yeah. Um, we're gonna get a nice, great, you know, great theatrical release. But um, yeah, now we're kind of shifting into talking about our movie. Yeah. But I'm just really proud of, of what we made and uh, happy to celebrate it and show it at, at the uh, River Run Festival. Time. Yeah, it, it's yeah. going to be showing at 7 o'clock and we're going to have all the details on that. Yeah. But um, it, it's kind of cool to see this before it hits theaters. You know, yeah, you yeah, that's the beauty of it. Yeah, I mean, festivals, film festivals are really a way to celebrate film before they hit at like a, a, a traditional official release. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of times, you know, just I'm, I, I love independent film. I'm a big supporter of indie filmmaking. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's important we continue to support it because it's really how we shape and build new voices in cinema. But, you know, film festivals are designed to help uh, give people a chance to see films that may even never get a chance to be seen elsewhere mm -hmm. e on the big screen. Like to go to a theater and watch a movie is a great experience. And a festival opportunity, yeah, is a way to give an audience around the world, because they're global, a chance to uh, experience something together in a communal kind of way. Yeah. But yeah, oftentimes movies get seen at a festival and they go direct to digital. 
So really, it's these moments that I think we have to all be very, you know, they're important. And there's the something about seeing it in theater, too, that it's, is it's that the communal best. experience. We, we had this movie debut, The Good Half, debuted at Tribeca mm -hmm. last summer. And uh, we had this great, really massive theater. It was sold out. And we had the audience like with us the whole time. Like you, you know, kind of gauged that while people were watching it. Yeah, it was it, right? the first time we showed it That's to anybody, cool. and it was like you had the the jokes were hitting. Mm -hmm. It just you, you could feel in the room that like you know people were with us, and I think there was something. There's something really magical about that. When you that got a look, it's like you're in the car with them and you're checking the speedometer and yes. seeing how things are going. It's so cool. I mean, it really is. I, I, yeah. When you work so hard on a movie and then you get to like put it out in the world, it's, pr it's pretty incredible. Hey, yeah. thank you so much for telling us yeah, about thank it. You. I think, yeah, yeah. I think a, a lot of people are really looking forward to this one, not only yeah, because of the, the cast and the names, but uh, you being kind of the driver there. So thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Looking that. forward to it. Thank you so much yeah, for thank being you, here. Thank you. Hey, you can see Robert tonight in Winston-Salem. He'll be there at that initial screening for the good half, 7 o'clock in the main theater of the UNC School of the Arts. Tickets, just $12. Go ahead and reserve that seat, though. You want to do that online at riverrunfilm.com. Once again, riverrunfilm.com. And the River Run International Film Festival running through Saturday the 27th. Venues all around Winston-Salem, as well as the Red Cinemas in Greensboro. Get more details about the movies and reserve your seat. Once again, riverrunfilm.com.